blade and quill. Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel. During the last two tutorials, uh, we used the different filters uh, within the plugin called uh, Gimmick. As you were able to see, filters are amazing tools that can help you transform images in anything we want. However, you may not know that they also can be very helpful at removing specific areas. So today I am going to show you several ways to remove backgrounds from your illustrations and photographs. All right, let's get started. Go to filter choose uh, colors, select uh, color to alpha. In this new window, uh, click OK. Here we are going to grab the fill tool, change the blending mode of your tool from normal to erase. Now click anywhere on the canvas and locate any other areas that may count in black, such as this one. Now please make sure to reset the blending mode of your tool when you are done. Use the same technique to remove colored backgrounds. Grab your fill tool. Make sure that the blending mode is set to erase. Click anywhere on the canvas. If you see that uh, your image has lost uh, some of its uh, resolution, hit uh, Ctrl J twice uh, to copy the image. Holding the Shift key, select uh, all the layers. Now merge them uh, using uh, Ctrl E. To remove the black background of a photograph, use the same uh, technique. Grab your fill tool. The blending mode is still on erase. Now click on the black background. As you can see, the dark areas in the pictures have faded. To fix this, hit Ctrl J twice as we did earlier. Holding the Shift key, select all the layers and hit Ctrl E to merge them all. And voila! Now please know that this uh, technique will not work on images uh, like this one, <laughs> but no worries, uh, there is always a way, you'll see. For this uh, photograph, uh, we'll start using the same technique uh, we used for the donkey's illustration. Go to Filter, choose uh, Colors and uh, select uh, Color to Alpha. But this time, rather to click on OK, I want you to click on the button Create Filter Mask. As you can see, a new layer was created underneath our picture. This is our filter mask. You will also observe that the color wheel has turned black and white. This means that we are only going to be able to paint using two colors, black and white. In earlier tutorials, I showed you the hotkey to switch from the black foreground color to the white background color. To switch between the two colors, click on the letter X on your keyboard. X goes to white, X goes to black. We are going to paint over the image, grab a brush. I am going to uh, grab the fill circle brush. Now before the start, uh, let me remind you how a filter works. If you paint on a filter using the black color, pigments get revealed. Now let's switch to white by clicking X. Paint with a white color and the pigments uh, disappear. They are not erased, they are just uh, hidden. By using the color to alpha filter earlier, we have somehow damaged the image. All the white pigments in the pug have been hidden. The dog is somehow transparent. 
Now, if you look closer, you can see the checkerboard pattern of our canvas in the eyes of a pug. So we need to fix that. We want all our pigments back. We want them uh, revealed. So let's click X to get back to the black foreground. And now with our brush, uh, we are going to paint all over the dog. Now take your time and uh, make sure to adjust the size of your brush uh, to get into smaller areas. So how do we know that we reached uh, all the image uh, areas? Well, it's very simple. Uh, what we need to do is uh, create a background layer underneath a filter. Create a new layer. Using the down arrow, move it at the very bottom. In the color wheel, uh, choose a color. Now grab your fill tool and uh, fill the layer. Get back to the filter. Click B on your keyboard to get back to your brush tool. Click D on your keyboard to reinstate the default black and white foreground and background. Using the black color, reveal all the areas you have missed. When most of the dog is done, you can change your brush. I am going to use the bristles hairy brush to mimic the dog's fur. Increase the size as needed and uh, keep revealing the tip of the fur. Now the only thing left to do is a switch to the white color and get rid of the rest of the white background that is close to the fur. So we are done. We can now remove the temporary background we had created earlier. The very last thing we need to do is apply the mask to the photograph. To do so, click Ctrl Shift plus E to merge everything. And we are done with a picture. Let's now look at how to remove a complex background like this one here. We want to extract the Volkswagen van from this image. Right click on the layer. Go to Add. Choose a local selection. A new filter layer was created underneath the picture. Click on it to make it active. As you can notice, as soon as we clicked on the layer, the color wheel went back to black and white. This time, the black color is not going to reveal pigments. It's going to show a color red. This red color is there to help you see what you are selecting. Using your brush, cover the entire van in red. If you make a mistake, just click X to switch to the white color. Here, white acts as an eraser. Switch back to black to continue selecting the van. Don't forget to adjust the size of your brush as needed. Finally, you can also rotate and zoom in and out of the image to have a better access to small areas. Now that we are done, we are going to invert the image. Hit Ctrl plus I. Right click on the filter layer. 
go to convert, select to transparencies mask and the background is gone. Apply the mask by clicking Ctrl plus Shift plus E. Earlier I told you that you will need to use another technique to remove a black background of a complex photograph. Use the local selection filter technique we just did. I really think it's the best for this kind of image. Alright, we are almost done before to leave. I would like to show you one more way to remove a complex background. We are going to use a gimmick. So go to filter and start the plugin. Here I want you to go to the contours tab. Select extract foreground. In the view resolution drop down menu, I want you to select the very high option. This option is the best one, however, you will need to have a strong computer. If your computer is old or does not have a great graphic card, uh, medium is fine. Now, since my computer is a beast, uh, <laughs> I am going to choose very high. Click OK. A new window appears. This is your interactive window. Using the buttons on your mouse, you are going to choose the areas that you want the filter to keep and the areas that you want the filter to remove. To tell the filter what areas you want to keep, click using the left button on your mouse. Green dots will appear. To tell the filter what areas you want to have removed, click using the right button of your mouse. Red dots will appear. To remove dots, use the backspace on your keyboard. To change the color of a red dot to a green dot, left click on it. To change the color of a green dot to a red dot, right click on it. I am going to cover all the areas I want to keep first, then I'll cover the rest in the red dots. I'll see you when I'm done. To preview what the filter is about to do for you, hit the space bar. The duration of the processing will depend on the power of your computer. As you can see here, the filter did not remove the grass at the bottom. Just add more red dots and hit the spacebar again. So keep adding red and green dots and hit the spacebar to preview your progress until you are satisfied. I am going to stop here, click enter to apply the filter. As you can see we have two layers, if I turn off the background layer you will see that the filter put the image it extracted at the very top. The reason why the filter created a two layers is to give us a chance to grab what it may have missed. Let me show you what I mean by that. I am going to turn off the top layer. Click on the background to make it active. Now zooming in on the image, look for areas that the filter missed. Grab your lasso and, uh, taking your time, select all the areas you want to keep. Now make sure that the lasso tool actions button in the tool options docker is set to add. This way you can make as many selections as you want.
I think I have most of the areas I want. Uh, hit Ctrl Shift plus J to copy and move the areas to a new layer above. All the areas are now on the layer above. Hit a Ctrl Shift plus A to undo all the selection. Now we can remove the background. Turn back on the extracted image and click on it to make it active. Hit a Ctrl E to merge the two layers. The image is now reconstructed. Using your lasso tool, remove other areas that the filter missed or areas you just don't like. You can also use a brush if you want. Choose any brush, click on the eraser and finish to clean up the image. I'll stop here, it's not perfect but it's good enough for the demonstration. So here it is, uh, you know now uh, several techniques uh, to remove the background of your illustrations or photographs. Please let me know in the comment area if this uh, tutorial was helpful. I will uh, see you next time for another tutorial. Until then, have a wonderful week. Au revoir et à très bientôt. <laughs> Bye.